All right, if there's no further discussion, hold the members, please. Barnes. Aye. Helton. Aye. King. Aye. Murphy. Aye. Trimble. Aye. Item number 13, Council Member Trimble. First reading of Ordinance 2024-05, an ordinance amending the budget for the City of Mount Starlington for fiscal year July 1st, 2023 to June 30th of 2024. Is there a second? Second. Second by Barnes. Discussion? You all can look through this. This is just a procedural end of year. <clears throat> we have to make sure that we go back and amend our budget. So we propose a budget and then we amend the budget at the end of the year to show uh, actually what uh, what the reality of that budget was. So the biggest changes in that, you know, we haven't spent some of the top three money yet uh, because that project's not kicked off. And then, um, you know, within the police department, you know, slightly, slightly less on hourly employees, uh, retirement, health insurance were a little less than we projected. Uh, fuel costs were a little less than we projected, which is good. Um, so that's a lot of the changes that you're seeing just within what we, what we anticipated and then what was the reality. Uh, restaurant tax was a little bigger uh, than we thought it would be. Hotel motel tax was a little lower than we thought it would be. But uh, anyway, this is just uh, what we have to do at the end of the year to make sure that the budget accurately reflect, reflects what uh, we spent. Call the members, please. Barnes. Aye. Kelton. Aye. King. Aye. Murphy. Aye. Trimble. Aye. I'm number 14, Council Member Trimble. First reading of Ordinance 2024 06, Ordinance adopting the budget for the City of Mount Sterling for fiscal year July 1st, 2024 to June 30th, 2025. Chair, second. Second. Second by King. Discussion. So there's a lot in this budget. One, let me thank uh, Laura Tipton for all of her hard work. She uh, takes takes her about two months to once fully sit down and be left alone and to be able to work through and, and work these numbers. Uh, so we appreciate all of the hard work. Um, all of all of the uh, departments have submitted their. Uh, kind of wish list there, uh, things that they're looking for uh, that that they need that are included in this budget. Um, if you'll look, we're we're blessed that the retirement costs or uh, our employer contribution rates are going down a bit, um, so that is uh, going to be good for our non-hazardous and hazardous employees. Um, that's reflected. We've got money in public works to be able to, uh, we've got several items that we want, if, if we can find the, the pricing on that, but one would be another street sweeper. Street sweeper that we have is uh, kind of, we, we've done all we can with that second one, correct? Six model. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're at a point with that one where we either fix, put more money into it, and uh, it may not guarantee that we get much life out of it or we go ahead and purchase that second sweeper. Um, some improvements for the building down there for public works are included on that. On the back page you'll see just money that we set aside um, for items that don't fit elsewhere in the budget. This is kind of our grant A that we have and in that uh, money for economic development, Chamber of Commerce, of course, the Du Bois. I did catch we have a um, we have a typo there, so Laura will have to get that fixed. That's not going to change from last year. The Sterling House, per their request, we're going to authorize um, some money for them to help them with their operations up there. What they're doing is helping take a load off of us in the city, uh, helping our police officers out when they encounter folks that uh, are out there in hazardous conditions, tough conditions in the winter. Uh, so we've allotted a little money to help them out and we've allotted this uh, grant for the post clinic because that was our project. So we've got some money uh, to be able to provide them uh, to help up there. 
Really no changes in our transportation match, that's MoCo Transit, or what we provide to Gateway Area Development District for senior home mills. The facade grant, you'll see we have $10,000 left in that. That's what I was talking about earlier. Once we know who's, who's gonna wrap up projects this fiscal year uh, and who's not gonna take advantage of the grant that was offered, then we'll know how much we have to offer uh, so that we can provide some more grants there. And that's, that's about it. Any questions for me? Okay. Thank you all so much. I'll ask to poll the members. Lauren. Aye. Hilton. Aye. King. Aye. Murphy. Aye. Trimble. Aye. Okay, we don't have any items for a closed session, so I'll ask if there's anything from council. Yes, sir. I was approached by the neighbor from Sterling about speed bump. Speed bumps? Possibly on Sterling and Chanel, so I thought. Mm -hmm. Lack thereof or need There's no need them. They fly. Okay. So, and, and I don't doubt, they fly on every street. Yeah. And our police are writing tickets. I saw one of them out there today that was, uh, you know, they're out there monitoring speeds. You know, we're moving the speed machine. We try to do the best we can. Um, so what we have done, just like with the citizen that came and asked for speed bumps on their street, what we would ask is for a petition. petition that the neighbors want these speed bumps. And if an overwhelming majority want it, then we're happy to try to put some speed bumps in. The, and, and also, where do you want those speed bumps? Because here's what we get on the other side. If we put, yeah, everybody wants speed bumps, but they don't want them in front of their house, or they don't want them in front of their driveway. Or, so do you see what we're getting at? So, um, we're happy to consider any requests, and we've put them in when people have submitted petitions saying, this is what our neighborhood wants. And if your neighborhood wants it, we'll do everything we can to support you. Message. Yes. So a petition, and clearly where you're wanting them. Now, I'll leave that up to him where they go, uh, because there's several. We try to put them at a property line between two properties. We try to, we got to think about driveways, you know, there's all sorts of things that go with that. And then, you know, the other issue with speed bumps is in the winter, if they stay down, that's gonna create an issue that we've got speed bumps there while they're trying to plow streets. A certain so. water where they don't want it, that's another problem. So What's that? Speed bump will divert water in somebody else's. Some, it can. Most, right. people hate, right. most yeah. people hate speed bumps. That, that's why we kind of, you know, even though this, well, they say this is what we want, then I turn it over to Nathan and let him try to figure out what, what makes sense here. But we're happy to entertain that request, but we just want to make sure everybody's on board. Because for, for everybody that wants them, there's probably somebody that doesn't. And we just need to, we need to yeah, consider you know, we got, their... We got a petition up there one time and they should not one way. I remember that. Yeah, one person got a ticket for going the wrong way. And that blew that all to pieces. <laughs> We just want to make sure everybody's happy with what. So it's not one way anymore, is that what you're saying? No, no we they changed it. Take changed it back and make it two ways. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that's kind of where we're at with that. And that seems to have worked really well. Okay. So, anything else from anybody? Okay. I'll just ask for a motion to adjourn. Absolutely. Motion from King, second by Lawrence. <laughs> Hearing no objections, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.